Traveler knows you are your bulkiest layers on the flight. At this point, I think it was 10 or 11 p.m. and we decided to just go to the airport early. Since we were technically flying private, we had a private terminal, which was super easy. This is where we finally met all of the dogs that were going to be on our flight. After a little longer delay, I had a moment with Lucas and begged him to please be good on the flight. A couple from Texas sold all their possessions and are traveling all over Europe with their three dogs, Cooper, Brooklyn, and Lucas. They left last October, and they've been documenting their journey on TikTok. Melanie and Albert, uh, Demi, join us to tell us all about it. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you guys? Wonderful. There's the Great Dane. That's 150 pounds. I would imagine the logistics started with him. Yes, absolutely. He is our kind of needy boy. Um, and we were struggling to find an airline that would take him in cargo. And we simply didn't want to put him or our senior dog in cargo. So it was a struggle, but we made it work. So did I, that clip we showed, did you charter a private jet? I mean, you sell all your belongings in there, or did you share that expense with somebody else? Because that would blow through your whole nest egg right away, I would think. <laughs> we actually, so I chartered the plane, but I, we found a group of 10 other people, 10 different individuals with their dogs who were all relocating to Europe. And um, the timeline worked out and we all split the cost of the flight from New York to Paris and we all made it with our dogs safely. So at some point, could you two have a romantic dinner in Paris or uh, what do you do with the dogs? No, we definitely, we were staying in long-term Airbnb, so it's it's not much different from being home in Texas aside from we're in beautiful new countries. Um, so the dogs, if we ever just want to go out with the two of us, the dogs stay home and we go explore. Are you permanently relocated to Europe or is this just a, a, a trip? It's just, a, we said a year. It's always been a dream of, a, of ours to move to Europe and explore for a year. So that is the game plan for now. So what are some of the adventures that you've had? What's your favorite city? Um, yeah, I mean, we started in Paris, kind of like we said through the charter. Um, we've explored Germany, Austria, Czechia. Um, we're up in the UK now in Scotland. And I mean, Paris is always going to be a favorite, but Edinburgh is like the new hit, like gem we found that we've really fallen in love with. Do all these places let you bring dogs into restaurants or are they all pet friendly? It has been insanely pet friendly here. I mean, we're used, we're coming from Austin, Texas, who is one of the most pet friendly cities in the U.S. And we've been shocked at how many places allow dogs inside at restaurants, pubs, even on public transportation, like the buses and the trains. OK, and you also say that uh, there's a hotel chain that's more dog friendly, which is that one if you're looking, people are looking uh to bring pets. The Kimpton Hotels, they're amazing. You can bring up to as many dogs as long as they're thing is as long as they fit through the door, no extra fees. So it's a game changer for us with a, our, our whole zoo and one of them being so large. Does it say something about your relationship that your <laughs> this European trip would be happier with three dogs than without them? <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, the dogs are our family. Um, we love each other. We've been traveling together since we started dating. Um, and we knew if this was going to happen, the dogs were coming. Otherwise, it just was not going to be a thing. You also have tips for people that when you bring, when you travel with your dogs, you have a digital copy of their vet records on your phones all the time. Yes, this is so important for us. You never know when something's happening. Um, you never know when there's going to be an emergency. So we make sure to have a copy of our, their vet records and they're like, they have a European pet passports now because they're yeah. European dogs. Boy, um, Albert's not talking much. Not I'm wondering <laughs> if you got dragged into this. <laughs> Uh, no, no, I, okay. I'm 100% with it. Oh. I 100 wanted See, to do it. See, they work together, right, Larry. Good. That's what people do. <laughs> well, you can follow the journey on TikTok and Instagram at uh, Her Boozy Tales. Thank you both, and good luck to you. Thank, Thank you. you.